guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be discussing if you think you should have your significant other in the gym with you. So some people like their significant others in the gym with them. Some people may despise it or whatever the case may be. Or some people wish they had a significant other that liked the gym. So there's so many different like options, scenarios, whatever the case may be. So we're just going to dive right into it. So for me, if I had a significant other that, you know, works out and everything like that, I feel like it just depends on the case. Now, say I met that person in the gym, then of course I'm going to, you know, be working out with him, whatever the case may be, because he was already in the gym with me, you know. Um, but at the same time, it can be a con because let's just say, you know, things don't work out and you guys break up. Well, crap. They go to the same gym as you. You're going to see them all the time. So that can be just very like a downside effect of having your significant other at the gym. Um, a good side of it is say that you are a female, you know, or a male, whatever, vice versa. And, you know, your significant other is like a personal trainer, a bodybuilder, powerlifter, whatever the case may be. They can, you know, give you tricks, you know, and tips on what to do in the gym and be like, okay, well, let me help you with your form, blah, 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 blah. So that's a pro to having your significant other there because then you guys can help each other out. You can be each other's spotter for, you know, all your big lifts if you do do big lifts. Um, so that can be a pro of having your significant other there. And then on top of that, if say you were like, quote unquote, you know, fitness influencer, then that helps with, you know, having content so not only you have content for yourself but then now you can have contact with your significant other so then you can be like oh here's a couple workouts you guys can do if you you know you and your boyfriend or whatever are together you guys can do this in the gym so that's another pro that you guys can have um but yeah that's basically like the majority of like the pros to it versus like the cons to it and everything like that but like I said, for me personally, I would say I wouldn't want my significant other there just because the type of person I am, I like to work out by myself. So that could be another con. Like say you like to work out with yourself, you're used to working out with yourself. It's not that you're not opposed to working out with somebody. Like I'm not opposed to working out with people, you know, from time to time. Yeah, let's get a workout in, da, da, da. But since I am personally a, um, a power lifter, my you know, programs are very specific because it's geared towards me. So when it comes to my programs and everything like that, I can't really shy away from them and everything like that. It's different if I was just doing a program, like I had a personal trainer, they just gave me a program to work out, blah, 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 that's different. But since I have one that is for, you know, competition wise and I'm geared up for that and I paid money for it and everything like that, it's completely, you know, different on that type of spectrum. So when it comes to people working out with me, it's more of they have to do my program versus we can just do whatever. So that's kind of like kind of a con and kind of not a con, I guess you can say. If your significant other, you know, doesn't mind um, working out, you know, with you and doing that program with you, that's cool. Or let's just say you guys can just go to the gym together, but just do your own separate workouts. Cool with that too, you know? So it doesn't always have to be like, oh crap, I gotta, you know, work out with them all the time or whatever. You guys can go in, do your own thing, and then leave together. So that's fine too that I would personally do. But, you know, always working out with them every single day, that's not my cup of tea in my opinion. But I would love to hear you guys' opinion about this topic of do you think you should, you know, work out with your significant other? Because I've been seeing a lot on um, Instagram of people, you know, working out with their significant other now. And I'm not saying that it hasn't been around forever, but just like lately that's have been like more <laughs> of like a popular thing that's back in, I guess, a trend thing, I guess you could say. So comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts and stuff like that. Do you have significant other? Do you guys work out together? Because I know some people, they have a significant other, but they don't work out. You do, but they don't. So, you know, yeah, that sucks too. But, you know, it's fine. You know, try to be like, hey, you know, let's just go walk on the treadmill, walk, um, you know, on the trail, whatever the case may be, just to get them in the gym. So that may be a way if you wanted them to be in the gym, but they just don't. That may be a way to, like, creep them in a little bit. <laughs> but, yes, like I said again, 
comment below. I'd love to hear you guys' you know, thoughts and opinions and everything like that. Because like I said, these topics are discussion. And I would love to hear more of how you guys feel. All I can see is, you know, whatever is on social media. And then, of course, my opinion. So I would love to hear you guys' opinions as well. So if you guys enjoyed this topic, want to have more like this, you know, comment below. Don't forget to like this video and hit the subscribe button if you're new here we're almost at 200 you guys so please tell a friend to tell a friend and share 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 this video so we can be at 200 subscribers whoop, whoop, whoop. and yeah hit the notification bell because we post every wednesday bye you guys